All right, this is another example of playing in BB style over a type of medium up shuffle in the key of B flat along the lines of every day I got the blues. And I started this solo coming in on B3, so leaving a little bit of space. One, two. Again, this is vocal-like. You know, BB is a great singer, and he likes to balance his vocal phrases against guitar phrases. And even when he isn't singing, you can hear the spaces left between the lines, which make what he plays on guitar seem more vocal-like. So again, one, two. So I'm starting with a riff based on B-flat major pentatonic. That's the fifth is F, G is the sixth. There's the root note B-flat. And then C, the second, gets bent up a whole step to the major third, D. Let me do that again. And this is very expressive here. This is in bar three. I play that fifth on the high E string, stabbing it hard. Very staccato and sharp, followed by a nice uh, long held note that's vibratoed. Now, B.B. King is known for his vibrato, and I'm vibratoing in the way that's comfortable for me. I'm pulling down on the string a little bit and using the side of my hand as the fulcrum, kind of squeezing and pulling the string down and releasing repeatedly. That's what creates the vibrato. But if you look at BB, he does it the other way. He pushes up. with all of his fingers out, and he calls it like a butterfly by having those fingers out. It's very difficult. No one can really replicate BB's vibrato perfectly. It's such a part of his sound. But it's fast and it's very contained in that it's so even sounding. One way to do it is to keep your fingers stiff. and then kind of move. I got my whole hand here not moving, but I'm moving my arm. And you see Stevie Ray Vaughan used this type of vibrato to emulate not only BB, but Eric Clapton and Clapton in his vibrato. Done in the same manner, and he's a huge BB fan, so you know that BB's vibrato uh, was a big influence on Eric's. So. Now here in bar four, I played that fifth and bent it up a step and a half to the flat seventh, so F all the way up to A flat. So you got reference to B flat minor pentatonic, and then back to major pentatonic, which is that BB thing of going back and forth to create that bittersweet feeling between a minor, darker sound, and then the sweet major sound. So, here in bar six, after, I'm gonna bend that 13th fret, the second up to the major third, release it right away and pull off. Land on that sixth and then go back to the root note. And that kind of alternating, pivoting off that root note with the ninth, which is also the second C, and that sixth is another BB signature. Okay, now bar eight, moving into bar nine. Bar eight is the end of the one chord, moving into the two, five, one, like we were talking about, C minor to F to B flat. So at the end of that B flat, into C minor. So over C minor, I'm bending up to an E flat, which is the minor third. And that's why that note sounds good over the two minor chord. And then back to. And here's that BB box.
which can include either the ninth or the second, which is a C, or the minor third. And then I end the solo with, just, with a typical BB stab on a high root note, in this case the 18th fret, a high B flat. And I'm also kind of blocking the other strings so I can get an aggressive sound of strumming across all the strings, or at least the top four, with that target fretted note on the 18th fret of the high E. And then slide down. So you can see this is, there's a lot of vibrancy in this solo, uh, which gives it life and a, a really good blues feeling, which is uh, essential if you want to play in BB style. And then along with that, going back and forth between minor and major pentatonic and just creating strong melodies all the way through. That's the way to emulate BB King.